British chef Joyce Molyneux has died at the age of 91. James Martin has led tributes to British chef Joyce Molyneux, who was one of the first women to receive a Michelin star. Taking to his Twitter page this afternoon, the 50-year-old shared a picture of the late restaurateur alongside a heartfelt caption. In view of his 722,000 followers, he wrote, while I was working in the kitchens training with the superstar chefs of the day in London. This amazing superstar woman was trailblazing her own Michelin star food at the Carved Angel in Devon. Rip Joyce Molyneux, a pioneer of the UK food scene. Many of his fans flocked to his post to send their condolences. Jane Hunt wrote, Deepest sympathy to all who knew this wonderful lady. Peace be with you. Now go with the angels. June Kendall commented, Rip. Marilyn Lester commented with multiple crying face emojis. Others paid tribute on social media. Including Richard Bertinet, who wrote, So sad to hear that the legend and neighbor in Bath has passed away. I'll miss her stories and smile ripped Joyce Molyneux. Jay Rayner tweeted, Farewell to the very great Joyce Molyneux. Her contribution to Britain's WW2 food culture really can't be overstated. Richard Pugh added, Rip Joyce Molyneux, absolutely one of the best ex. The chef left school at 16 and moved on to further education at the Birmingham College of Domestic Science. After this, her dad found her a job in a canteen at W. Canning Company, manufacturers of electroplating equipment, which opened doors for her. She began working at the Mulberry Tree in Stratford-upon-Avon in the 1950s as a general assistant by the chef. In the 1960s, she moved on to the hole in the wall in Bath. The chef went on to spend a further 25 years at the Carved Angel in Dartmouth. As well as this, she was the author of 1990 book The Carved Angel Cookery and Born to Cook. Angel Food in 2011. She was one of the first female chefs to be awarded a Michelin star in 1978. In 1959, Joyce met waiter Stephen Rodriguez Garcia, who was working at the Mulberry Tree. They were together until his death in 1994. She is survived by her younger brother, Philip, and several nephews and nieces.